A reasonable proportion of patients with autism have mitochondrial disease as either the cause of their autism or a major contributing factor. I'd go to the emergency room and um, <laughs> they'd say, oh, your son's an organ failure, we need to admit him. <laughs> and he'd be like, what is happening? This is not just autism. Why is his life threatened by just trying to participate in daily life? So to say that mitochondrial disease causes autism is not true, and to say that the connection between mitochondrial disease and autism is still speculative is also not true. We've had a really rough few years with Cameron. He's TPN dependent, he's on an IV med that runs 24 hours a day, doesn't eat much, cannot go to school. He is on home hospital, and at times he can't even learn. The patient that has mitochondrial disease and autism, even if they have mitochondrial dysfunction underlying autism, mitochondrial targeted therapies are often very helpful in those patients. Many patients that have been identified to have mitochondrial disease have had a very large workup, including biochemical testing, molecular testing, in particular muscle biopsy. After our journey of trying to figure out what was up, uh, we were game to have a muscle biopsy done before we saw the specialist, so we came in with a muscle biopsy, but it didn't really give us an answer. To get an exact diagnosis requires molecular analysis. With an exact molecular diagnosis, we can target therapy directly at the problem. So we did the testing really early and we got the results back and they were profound. In some patients, it, the autism almost melts away and becomes in the normal range. But in many patients, their behavior improves to the point that it's significant for the family. Although they still have autism, the family is very happy with the treatment. I would do this test um, because I think it's given us information that's treatable for Cameron and I think it's been really helpful to us as a family. We can't get enough of the research, can't get enough of the medicine that is specific for him. Now, I, I have my son. I am so glad, I, I'm so glad, I am so glad.